All right. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, YouTube. This is Rosh, and you are watching a tutorial series called FM3 Basics. So I wanted to uh, give back to the Fractal community and put together a video series uh, dealing with the Fractal Audio FM3. So a little about me. Uh, once again, my name is Rosh. Um, I'm a guitar player and guitar tech out here in the Los Angeles area. I build and program guitar rigs in addition to playing live, doing sessions, etc. Um, and some of my clients include Def Leppard, Steve Vai, Melissa Etheridge, Dweezil Zappa, and more. So uh, this is a tutorial series on how to program the FM3. I know that post-pandemic, a lot of us are going to be getting back out there and starting to play gigs. Uh, so I wanted to give some tips and tricks on how to get the most out of your FM3. And this is also going to be in conjunction with all the tutorial videos from my AxeFX three basics so you can check out some of those tutorials on my youtube channel as well as axfx 3 basicscom so if you have any uh topics you'd like me to cover by all means feel free to leave a comment um or contact me directly uh so all right so in my previous video we were talking about how to assign um effects to each uh, button on the controller. So now this uh, tutorial is going to be about how to assign scenes to each of these buttons. So uh, what we can do is let's just clear these out. So I'm right clicking, hitting reset switch. And you know, your switches might be different depending on what uh, layout you're using or if you're using the factory default, etc. <clears throat> okay, so um, just like the previous video where we were assigning the effect here, um, instead of the category being the effect, we're going to use the scene. And so the function that we want to do is select a scene, and then we can pick any one of the eight scenes in here. And then there's this function also that if you press it a second time, it's going to return to the previous scene that you were on. Uh, I don't personally use that function, but it is there for your, as an option. So as you can see, this is scene one right here, which corresponds to the first scene in this preset. Uh, this is the factory preset USA 2C+. You can use this with any one of your presets, including the factory presets. So if we select here, we can do select. And then instead of scene one, we want to do scene two. And you'll see this is 2C+. This is 2C+, bright, which corresponds to scene number two. And we can also do scene number two or select scene number three. So this is a really basic way, of course, to select the first three scenes in your preset. So it would be the same as hitting these three buttons. So again, if I hit scene one on the FM3, it's gonna to switch to scene one, this will switch to scene two, and this will switch to scene three. So now, obviously, uh, this is pretty limited functionality, especially if you're going to be playing live and you're only using three buttons and you're not using any of the other external fractal controllers such as the FC6 or the FC12 or any other external MIDI controller. In the future, I will definitely go over some uh, tips and tricks on how to use the uh, fractal controllers as well as other MIDI controllers if uh, there is any questions about that. Now, to get the most functionality out of three foot switches, you can also do um, a function called scene toggle. Just like the effects toggle in my previous video, um, you can also toggle between two scenes. So I'm going to actually uh, say, let's say you have this 2C plus right here, and then you also want like a lead sound. So for example, let's say we're playing our 2C plus sound right here, and you know we turn on the delay and the overdrive. Okay, and that's going to be our lead sound using the same amp block. So I'm going to copy this scene to, let's say, scene four for now. Um, and then in scene four, we'll call this 2C plus lead. Okay, so the first scene with the 2C plus is going to have the delay and reverb off. And then when we go to this scene, which is scene four, we're going to have the overdrive and delay pedal on. So what we can do is instead of just pressing this button, we can actually use the toggle function. So the toggle function allows you to use the same button to switch between the primary scene and the secondary scene. So again, the secondary scene, whoops, the secondary scene that we're going to be doing is this 2C plus lead sound. 
So that would be scene four. And now what's gonna happen is that if I press that first button, here is like, let's say our rhythm sound. And if I hit that, it's gonna go to our lead sound. And then so it's gonna be toggling back and forth between scenes one and four. Of course, you can do this with scenes one and two. You can do this with anything. So another hypothetical situation that you can of course do is I'm gonna clear all these switches out. And let's just uh, say this is, we have, we wanna switch between scenes one and two. And then this second button is gonna switch between scenes three and four. And this third button is gonna be switched between five and six. So if we do scene and then toggle, and then we want this button to switch between again, scenes one and two. And then this button is gonna switch between scene, function, toggle. And then we're gonna select between scenes three, whoops, scenes three and scene four. And then this last button is gonna be switching between scene five and six. So we'll do toggle there, scene five and six. So this could be a really practical way to build a preset that can kind of cover everything. Now, as you can see, there's only four scenes in this particular preset. So in scene five, we'll call this, um, I don't know, X, you know, high gain. And then we'll call this one high gain lead we'll turn on the overdrive for that okay so in scene one let's say we have this 2c plus sound in scene two we have the 2c plus with the bright switch on in scene three we have the 2c plus with the deep switch on which is basically emulating like the depth switch okay and then 2c plus the lead sound and then we can also have scene five and six, which is the high gain sound. And of course you can make any amp tweaks you want in each scene, and then that would be scene five and six. So if I press button number one, it's gonna to go to scene one. If I press that button again, it'll go to scene two. And then if I press it again, it goes back to scene one. So I'm toggling between scene one and two. The second button, the middle button right here, is gonna to toggle between scenes three and four. Scene three, scene four, back to scene three, back to scene four. And last but not least, this is the third button, which is this button right here, is gonna to toggle between scene five and six. So there's scene five and there's scene six. So this can be really useful. It's definitely something that I do in my personal scenes and presets where, for example, hypothetically, let's say we go to an empty grid. I'll just build something really quick. Um, no set, you know, there's not going to be any playing or anything, but just, you know, in the hypothetical way that we can, uh, deal with this is that you can, let's say have a clean sound. So we'll use like the, uh, deluxe verb. So this will be clean, right? And then let's say in scene two, we're going to use like a, you know, uh, like a Vox or something class A, and we'll call that crunch, okay? So now since I've already assigned these buttons, it's gonna you know deal with scene one and two. So the first button is gonna toggle between our clean sound, oops, sorry, wrong button, our clean sound, and then our crunch sound, okay? And then let's say scene three and four, we want maybe a rhythm sound We'll use like a Marshall. So we'll use, or we'll use a Plexi. And then let's just say in scene four, we want a lead sound. And we'll use, you know, the, oops, it should be on channel D. We'll use, yeah, we'll just use the USA lead and of course we can add some type of delay there okay so in scene one we would be playing the clean sound which is going to be our deluxe reverb in scene two we would have our crunch sound which would be using the vox class a amp 
In scene three, we would be using a plexi, which is our marshal. And in scene four, we would be having a lead sound, maybe, you know, that kind of sound with like an overdrive pedal on top of it. So if I hit button one, which is toggling between scene one and two, I'm going to get clean and crunch. Okay. We'll just bypass that clean and crunch. So I'm hitting button one over and over. Okay. This pedal seems to be stubborn. Save that. And then if I hit the second button, the second button is toggling between our rhythm sound and our uh, lead sound. So if I hit the middle button, rhythm and lead. So I can go back to our clean. I can go to a rhythm sound. If I tap the first button twice, I can go to the crunch sound. If I tap the second button twice, go to the lead sound. So really useful. It's like having four channels and we didn't even need to use this button. So we can even just clear that out or you can assign it to an effect, such as the delay. So right there, you have four channels to choose from, as well as one effect. Um, and of course, we will cover the views feature in future videos, but that's gonna wrap it up for this video. So the scene toggle is very, very useful, and you're only using it in the tap. We haven't even covered some of the situations where you could use the hold function to switch between scenes, but for now, this is a very basic way to implement the scenes feature toggle as well as the tap feature on your FM3. So if you have any questions, by all means, feel free to reach out. Uh, please comment, like, subscribe, and uh, check out axefxbasics.com, fm3basics.com, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks. Taking